Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Engineering Graphics by Professor Vinod Kumar. Introducing myself. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, M. N. Vinod Kumar, retired from Cochin University of Science and Technology as professor from the Department of Safety and Fire Engineering. I have about 36 years of teaching experience in engineering graphics in various universities in Kerala. The objective of this channel is to impart all the knowledge that I have acquired in mastering the subject to the students of first year BTEC by the help of a series of videos on various chapters in, included in engineering graphics. I will be posting videos covering all portions in engineering graphics. You know the syllabus of engineering graphics in all universities in Kerala, almost all universities in Kerala and also in almost all universities or education institutions in India are the same. There may be slight differences. This channel will provide all the related chapters explained in the most convenient way by virtue of my knowledge acquired. I have developed my own methods of teaching that from experience I have understood as simple and most advantageous to the students. This channel or this videos can be considered as a supplement to your learning in your institution. However, this can be self-sufficient also. If you simply follow these videos, you can score S grade for your examination. It can be completely independent, a completely independent resource for scoring full mark in engineering graphics. I will be solving numerous problems from each chapter. If you have got any doubt, any concern about any problem if, or if you, you get a problem from somewhere, you want it to be solved, you can give it to me through the comment box. I will either solve it for you or I will solve it and post it as a video. You can contact me also. You can contact me at this number. You can contact me at this number if you want any personal help. Any instructions, any uh, clarifications, any explanations, you can contact me over this number or you can comment on the, uh, give a comment in the comment box. I will solve it and may either upload as a separate video or we can discuss. Now coming to the subject called engineering graphics. It is nothing but engineering drawing. It has got no connection with uh, computer graphics. It is engineering drawing. Earlier this subject was called geometrical drawing, then it was called engineering drawing and now it is widely called as engineering graphics. What is engineering graphics? Engineering graphics is the language of engineers. We engineers design things and make them and use in life. So what you draw is what you want to make and use in life. As a result of this, the approach towards engineering drawing is completely different. If you are making an art drawing, you are conveying a gross information, an idea. All those who look at the drawing may or may not understand what the drawing is all about. The person who make the drawing can start from any part and finally finish the drawing. You, are th you think of making a scenery, drawing a scenery, making a portrait. The artist can start from any corner and finish finally, he may finish. If 10 people make the drawing, the 10 people may have different approaches, may start from different points and finally, at the end of the drawing, it will look almost similar. But in engineering drawing, that is not possible. In art drawing, in some of the art exhibitions, you know, people go and simply stare in front of a, stand in front of a drawing and appreciate it. Some people may not be able to understand what the artist has actually meant. 
So the artist in an app drawing represent his ideas, his feelings, his imaginations, and differing upon the school of thought to which the artist belong, the way of presentation, the way he draw, the color combinations, etc. are different. But in engineering drawing, that's not possible. If an engineer in one place of the world to prepare a drawing, all engineers in all parts of the world should understand what exactly it is. So we say drawing is the language of engineers. If an engineer do not interpret a thing properly, it will be disastrous, isn't it? <clears throat> he should understand exactly what the first engineer or the engineer who drew it has meant. You think of making the bolt of your wheel of your car. The bolt is there, you make the nut. If the nut is big, it will not serve the purpose. The car will go in one direction, the tire will go in another direction, isn't it? You think of a door on a wall. You leave a space in the wall, you make a door to wrong dimensions, you place the door there. The door doesn't serve the purpose. Agreed? So engineering drawing is made to dimensions. That's the difference. Art drawing is not made, art drawing is made to proportions. Even very modern art do not have proportions. A person will have a shorter neck and a huge head. But he means something else in that. When you do that, he means something else. But in engineering drawing, we draw everything to dimensions. The difference between the drawings which you are familiar to and engineering drawing is this. In physics, chemistry, etc., you have made drawings. You have made pipettes, lab setups, a tank, a pipette, a pipe, a collecting tank, a beaker. And in physics also, you have drawn certain experimental set of prisms, uh, loading mechanisms, pulleys, chains, etc. There again, you are conveying some information, not two dimensions. But in engineering drawing, you draw them. But in engineering drawing, we draw them two dimensions. That's the difference. And more than one view is required to represent something. If you have a book like this, in, the, in one view you see these two dimensions. But the depth of the book, the thickness of the book is not visible. So you need more than one view to draw or to represent an object. That's the difference between engineering drawing and other art drawings. Now coming to the instruments. You need certain instruments to draw. The first thing is a clutch pencil. You know the clutch pencil. It has got a small lead inside 0.5 mm. You have to use H pencil to draw, not HB, H pencil to draw. Then you have got a compass with a small clutch pencil attached to that. Then you need to have a set square, 45 degree set square with a protractor at the center. Then <coughs> Another set square 30, 60, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 30, 60, 90. Another set square 30, 60, 90, 30, 60, 90. Then you can optionally use a roller. This helps you to draw parallel lines. These are the very basic instruments. In KTU, you are asked to draw in a four size paper without uh, drawing board and all. In Cochin University and IITs and NITs, you may have to have a to, you may have to prepare the drawing on a drawing board with the help of big, huge purpose, A2 to, a to size purpose with the help of mini drafter. Since mini drafter is not in KTU, I am not showing that. Others can use that. That's about the instrument. These instruments are compulsory. You have to learn by drawing. Engineering graphics is like swimming, learning swimming. Learning engineering graphics is like learning swimming. How do you learn swimming? You get into the water, small level of water, feel the water, then get into a higher level of water, up to neck chest level, dip into the water, let the water get into your nose, more, nose, ears and uh, eyes and mouth, feel it, then you turn 180 degrees, 90 or 90 degrees, struggle in water, you will slowly learn swimming. If you learn swimming by theory, throw your right arm, strike your left leg, then throw your left arm and strike your right leg, that is theory of swimming, that's okay, but you will most probably get drowned. If you learn by theory and get into water, you will be drowned. So you have to get into water and swim. 
and learn swimming and then swim. Similarly, to draw graphics, you have to draw and learn. The examination is a drawing examination. So you have to draw and learn. Don't try to understand. Only whatever you understood must be drawn. Don't try to learn by understanding. Understanding is needed, but you have to draw it and implement what you have drawn. So that is extremely important. You have to draw and learn. Don't understand and learn. Don't read and learn. Draw and learn. That's about uh, the procedure of learning graphics. Next thing is uh, about the chapters. Engineering graphics are about two sections. Are other. One is called a plane geometry, other is called a solid geometry. Plane geometry has scales, conics, involutes, spirals, and cycloidal curves. Small five chapters. Very simple things. Solid geometry has got projection of points and lines, projection of plane surfaces, projection of solids, section of solids, development of surfaces, isometry projection, intersection of solid, at the perspective projection. Eight chapters. The first chap, first module is rather, first uh, plane geometry part is rather simple. The other part you need a good teacher to understand it. We will be starting with the projection of points and lines in the next video. So get these instruments, get prepared. We will go to the next video. Okay, bye. Thank you.